We're on? Yep. We're live. Okay. If, oh, we're on polynomials, page 12, complex mm -hmm. conjugate zeros. Uh, earlier uh, on that one um, third degree we were looking at, we saw it only had one real zero. That meant it had two imaginary zeros. Brandon asked, how do we find imaginary zeros? Well, now I'm here to tell you. Okay. If a plus bi with b not equal to zero is a zero of a polynomial function with f with real coefficients, then its complex conjugate, which is a minus bi, is also a zero of the function. All that's oh. saying is that imaginary solutions, they have to come in pairs. And the reason is, is they're conjugates of one another. We've already talked about conjugates when mm -hmm. we were doing the dividing of complex numbers. Mm -hmm. So if they tell you one imaginary zero or one complex zero, you automatically know the other one because it's the conjugate. And that's what we're going to talk about with this particular example here. Let's write down the f of x here. I believe we have a fourth degree. Yep. So it's 4x to the fourth uh, plus, what is that, 17x 17 17 squared? squared? Plus 14x plus 65. Plus 65. Okay, and it says show that 1 minus 2i is a zero and verify at least one other zero of f of x. So are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to do f of 1 minus 2i. And there's different ways to evaluate this, but I'm just going to go back to the old evaluating and show you what to do. Are we okay with that? Okay. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of time, but it's not a problem. Okay, so 4 times 1 minus 2i quantity to the 4th plus 17 1 minus 2i quantity square plus 14 times 1 minus 2i plus 65. Now, you know how we had that calculator thing and when I was teaching you how to do complex numbers? Mm -hmm. uh, that was for a reason. <laughs> it's shocking. Okay, so what we're going to do, four times. <laughs> we're going to figure out what 1 minus 2i to the fourth is by plugging it in the calculator. So parenthesis, 1 minus 2i to the fourth, and I get negative 7 plus 24i. Now, I could write... 1 minus 2i times 1 minus 2i times 1 minus 2i times 1 minus 2i and do all that. But I don't have time. So next, plus 17 times. Now let's do 1 minus 2i squared. You can use your calculator, hit your second enter, uh, change your 4 to 2 and you get it. Negative 3 minus 4i. So far so good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to just rewrite this out, 14 times 1 minus 2i, and then plus 65. And then on this next step, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go ahead and... Uh, Multiply it out? Yeah, distribute. So 4 times negative 7 would be negative 28, plus 4 and 24. 48 times 2 would be 96, I hope. Yeah. So 96i plus uh, negative 51... Uh, 68 minus 68i, I hope. That looks right. Yeah. Plus 14 minus 28i plus 65. And now what I'm going to do is just uh, combine all my like terms. Mm -hmm. So let's do the real portion first. I have a negative 28, I have a negative 51, I have a positive 14, I have a positive 65. So this is going to give me, what is that, 79 as a negative? Yes? This will give me negative 79? Mm -hmm. okay. If I add yeah. 65 yes. to that, I would get negative 14. Positive 14 ends up being a zero. If you want to use your calculator, you can. Negative 28 plus negative 51 plus 14 plus 65 all equals zero. Okay. Okay. Now, my eyes, I have a 96, and I have a take away 65, and a take, or a 68, and a take away 28. Mm -hmm. So that'd give me 80 and 16, which is 96, negative. So that's going to be plus 0i. So that means that this 1 minus 2i is a 0. Which Does that make sense? We can find the other 0. What's the other 0? If 1 minus 2i is one a 0, then 1 plus 2i is a 0. Mm -hmm. 